Hello and welcome to my sewing space. Today I'm going to be sewing McCall's 7948 and it's not going to be a tutorial. It's just kind of a sew along like I'm just vlogging about this dress that I'm going to be making. So right now I'm just going to get started. This is a really cute spring dress and I'm making it in a size 18. Right now I'm just going to do a stay stitch in the neck area and I usually change the stitch length to like a three. I don't know if that matters or not. And then I start in the middle of the neck and I will stitch out and then I'll show you on this next one. I start in the middle and I stitch out one end and then I go back to the middle and stitch out the next end just to try to help it keep its shape. And now I'm going to serge every single raw edge of this bodice so that when, you know, I wash it and dry it, it's not gonna unravel. This is rayon fabric, so you wanna make sure that every single raw edge is sewn in or, you know, is serged. So I hope that you are enjoying the video so far. If you are looking for like a lot more information about this dress, I did a pattern review. So you can go ahead and click the link above and check out the pattern review uh, on this dress. Okay, so I just want to talk about pinking shears for a moment. I love cutting out my necklines with these scissors because it just, you know, when you flip it over like this, it lays completely flat and it just turns out beautiful. And it's a time saver. You don't have to individually clip around the fabric. You can just use your pinking shears. And then you just want to iron it down to help it lay flat. but look at how pretty that is. Let me turn it over so you can see the other side. It just lays beautifully. On the sleeves, I wanted a more puff sleeve because see the line drawings right here, it's either sleeveless or this, or you can do a ruffle right there, but I wanted more of a puff. So I took the sleeve off of McCall's 8036. It's this one and I just gathered it so that I could have a puffy sleeve. And now I'm just gonna work on putting the sleeves, attaching the sleeves to the bodice. Now I am going to be cutting the tears. And I found a wonderful suggestion on a different YouTube channel. I'll put it in the, uh, I'll put it right here on the screen because I can't remember where it was. But she suggested to tear 
your tears. Basically, tear your fabric and it, it, it's so easy. I don't know why I didn't think about that before, but it makes sure because you're tearing it and it stays on the grain line. And so it makes sure that you have, uh, that it's straight. So at this point, I've already gathered the tears on my serger, clipped them to the bodice, and now I'm just using my sewing machine to sew them in place. And then I will go back over to my serger to finish the raw edges. Okay, don't go anywhere. After I sew this onto the bodice, I'm gonna try it on. Okay, so far, so good. Oh, you can't really see it, but I love the neck so far. Um, let me turn it this way. The sleeves are not connected yet, but look at those ruffles. And then down here is the bodice, and I'm going to add um, pockets. Let me turn this around. Sorry if I'm giving you guys a headache here. Okay, now you can see it a little bit better. And I haven't attach this part yet because I'm going to add pockets and I still want to do the clear elastic under there and then I'm going to put the arms on but I don't know quite yet what length I want them. I think I'm going to cut them about three inches and then I'll use the elastic uh, around the end of it. And then I'm going to add one more tear because I'm going to make it a little bit longer. But I'm loving it so far, so keep watching. I got the dress on. Um, I'm see. I okay, guys. What do you think about that shoulder, though? Am I being too picky? Oh my gosh! Let me flip this around. Okay, here is what it looks like so far. I'm going to be adding the another tier. Um, I think it's okay. At first, I was thinking that the shoulder was a little bit too big. Um, I'm going to have to take a picture. Do I need to redo the shoulder? Or am I just being way too picky? Look how it kind of hangs. Oh my gosh, you guys. It 
kind of hangs off a little bit. And this is not a dirty mirror. It's got like scratches on it. Um, I don't know what to do about the sleeves. I'm thinking I coulda, shoulda went with a 16 because it's pretty baggy, although uh, there are a lot of dresses that have that baggy look. I'm thinking that that is still okay. I tend to get in my head when I'm sewing. I still need to finish the sleeves. I'm going to add some elastic to it, but you guys, I don't know if this needs to be altered or not or I'm being too picky. I'm Okay, let's look. I'm gonna go ahead and look at some inspirations. So this one right here, look how far off the ruffles are from the shoulders. But I'm not, I don't know if I really like that. I really don't like that look at all. So here's a floral one right here that is so cute. And see, it, it is so nicely put together. Okay, so I don't know if I'm being dramatic. I want to be able to love this dress. I want to be able to wear it all the time. I don't know if I should cut this off by looking at some of those dress examples. They do have where the sleeve, see, I feel like the sleeve needs to come up like this for me to be happy with it. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a break from for now. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna leave things like this. Um, I'm gonna take a break, I'm gonna think about it and um, see where I should go from there. Okay, so it's a new day and an idea just came to me and I'm going to be fixing the sleeves. Right now I am moving forward with the dress and I'm just going to, right now I'm ripping up the tears. For the bottom part of the dress. So you're going to want to stick around to the end to see what I did to make those sleeves fit better. Because I, well, I mean, <laughs> even as I'm talking right now, I don't know if it's going to work out, but I think it's going to work out. We're going to be making it work. So hang tight. We're going to have a nice finished dress by the end of this. Now I'm just working on pushing the elastic through the arms and then I'm going to close this up right here and here is what the arms look like with the rubber band casing on the bottom. Okay, I just want to check in with you. I am not done yet. I'm not happy with it. I feel like it's too baggy right in here. Um, I should have went with a 16. I actually probably should have went with a 14. Um, because I'm still going to fix this area right in here. I'm going to do some pleats. And I feel like I need to take it in a lot right here. Because I've got the baggy sleeve. So I feel like this part needs to be more structured if this is going to be more baggy. So please sit tight. I think I still have my fingers crossed that, and I'm not happy with this right now. But let's wait until the end, okay? 
I just got to do a few more adjustments. So right here, I'm just showing you a few details of the dress. I think it looks really nice right here where the ruffles connect to the bodice and I use the clear uh, elastic to help keep it sturdy. And I love how the neck looks like. I attached a cute little label and I'm just going to have to take it in right here on the sides. to make it more narrow around the bodice. And now I have my narrow hem foot out and I'm going to hem the bottom of the dress, which means we are almost done. And also, if you are still with me, I wanna thank you so much for watching and please hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. So here is the shoulder that I fixed. So I don't think it's too bad. Let me know what you think. Uh, make sure that you give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching my vlog about making this dress. Make sure that you check out the pattern review that I have. And I, will ho I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. <laughs>